the two time pad is insecure. More importantly, I want to talk about um, more recent examples that come up in networking protocols. So let me give you an example from Windows NT in a protocol called the point-to-point uh, -point transfer protocol. This is a protocol for a client wishing to communicate securely with a server. The client and the server both uh, share a secret key here, and they both send messages to one another. So here we'll denote the messages from the client by M1. So the client sends a message, the server responds, the client sends a message, the server responds, the client sends a message, the server responds, and so on and so forth. Now, the way PPTP works is basically the entire interaction from the client to the server is considered as one stream. In other words, what happens is the messages M1 and M2 and M3 are kind of viewed as one long stream. Here, these two parallel lines means concatenation. So essentially, we're concatenating all the messages from the client to the server into one long stream. And all that stream is encrypted using the stream cipher with key K. So that's perfectly fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. These messages are encrypted, are treated as one long stream, and they're all encrypted using the same key. The problem is the same thing is happening also on the server side. In other words, all the messages from the server are also treated as one long stream. So here, they're all concatenated together and encrypted using, unfortunately, the same pseudo-random seed. In other words, using the same stream cipher key. So basically what's happening here is you see an effect that the two-time pad is taking place where the set of messages from the client is encrypted using the same one-time pad as the set of messages from the server. The lesson here is that you should never use the same key to encrypt traffic in both directions. In fact, what you need to do is to have one key for interaction between the client and the server and one key for interaction between the server and the client. The way I like to write this is really that the shared key K really is a pair of keys. One key is used to encrypt messages from server to client, and one key is used to encrypt messages from client to server. So these are two separate keys that are used, and both sides, of course, know this key. So both sides have this pair of keys. Okay, and they can both encrypt. So one is used to encrypt messages in one direction, and the other is used to encrypt messages in the other direction. So another important...